And starting today, you can help some Central Georgia students prepare for the new school year. Operation Back to School kicks off today. But because of COVID-19, our annual school supply drive is going virtual. Our morning reporter, Pepper Baker, joins us live with how your donation is a huge help to students right now. Good morning, Pepper. Good morning, Caitlin. Shopping for school supplies was probably my favorite part of going back to school, but I grew up with three older siblings, so it definitely wasn't cheap. Now I can only imagine how hard it must be for families affected by COVID-19 trying to buy school supplies for either in-person or virtual learning, but there is a way that you can help. Shopping for back to school supplies during COVID-19 was a different experience for elementary school parents, Tondi Dillard and Jessica Vance. In years past, it's always been them saying, hey, mommy, can we go with you? Um, we want to pick out our stuff this year. I didn't give that opportunity just for protection with everything going on. I tried to order them on the for pickup and a lot of things that I ordered weren't available. For other parents who lost jobs during the pandemic, school supplies might be hard to come by. Just doing what was on the list of our kids that suggested, I spent over $200 um, for two kids. And so families that are struggling just to pay the bills and have food at home, that's not going to be a possibility. Communities and Schools Program Manager Arkesha Danzi is helping organize donations online. But school supplies have always been an issue, especially for the underdeserved. Um, community. So we try to make sure that we have school supplies so there's not a kid that doesn't have what they need in order to learn. They're accepting pencils, papers, notebooks, health related supplies, and even cash, which could help schools provide resources for remote learning students. I know of some families, they only have one computer and three kids, but because of health concerns, they can't send their kids to school. They like, they can't and they don't have enough money to buy another computer. It just helps the school to be able to facilitate those things like the Chromebooks or if someone was to need to have that repaired or something like that. It's important for those of us who have the means to help out to be able to give a little bit more. Now they're also accepting water bottles. Many schools have disabled the communal water fountain use to keep from spreading germs, but students will be able to fill up their own personal water bottle. Reporting live in Macon, Pepper Baker, 13 WMAZ News. Thank you, Pepper. Now though the process has changed, your donation still makes a big difference for a child in your community. Every dollar donated stays right here in Central Georgia. So through our partnership with communities and schools in Westmoreland, Patterson, Mosley and Henson, we're raising money for kids in the community from now until August 24th. So just head on over to 13WMAZ.com right now. Learn more about how you can donate.